Cape Town is the second largest city in South Africa and is known as one of the most beautiful cities in the world due to its unique natural scenery. But amid these majestic landscapes, there is someone who prefers to direct his attention to the world underneath the microscope. I'm Professor Craig Kinnear, um, and I'm the director of the genomics platform here at the South African Medical Research Council. I grew up in a community on the Cape Flats in Cape Town, South Africa. We had genetic disorders in our family. What I wanted to do was better understand the conditions that are running in my family. And one way to do that was to study medicine or, or to study life sciences. And I chose the life sciences route. The data that's generated is about, for that plant genome, it was about almost a terabyte of data. In recent years, the field of genetic sequencing in South Africa has been advancing at an astonishing pace and has had a significant impact on public health and disease diagnosis. Back then, when we were having to find out what causes a genetic disease, it took us almost decades to find the answer. With the advancement of technology, we can find the answer within a few days. The South African Medical Research Council has found an outstanding partner to enhance South Africa's capabilities in high-throughput genetic sequencing and precision medicine. MGI is a leading institution on life sciences and has consistently maintained a leading position in the field of genetic sequencing equipment. MGI has already supplied three large-scale genetic sequencers to the laboratories of the South African Medical Research Council. Currently, this laboratory is the largest genomic center in Africa. MGI provides us with the necessary training to run our sequencing facility at the South African Medical Research Council. Recently, a gene sequencing project of immense significance for the entire African continent was launched with the laboratory playing a crucial role. The African Biogenome Project is a pan-African coordinated effort to build capacity to analyze, generate, and deploy genomics data for the sustainable use of agriculture and biodiversity in Africa, and to just really build capacity to capacitate Africans to analyze their own data and derive value from that data for themselves. So it's for Africans by Africans. As part of the African Biogenome Project, the genomics platform of the South African Medical Research Council is collaborating with MGI to sequence the genomes of several African plant species. Beyond venturing into new frontiers, the Council aims to continue efforts in the field of human health. Through collaboration with Chinese enterprises, they hope to continue developing precision medical solutions for various common and rare diseases. China, in turn, remains committed to supporting genetic technology for the benefit of South Africa. We're hoping that with the advancement of technology, we can sort of bring down the costs of healthcare and make it more accessible to the majority of our population. So we believe, and I believe strongly, that genomics plays a fundamental role in our understanding of human disease. Technological innovation serves as a crucial engine for the development of human society and a vital means to address global challenges. In the realm of genetic engineering, China and South Africa are making significant strides through deep collaboration and mutual learning. 